Hello everyone. This workshop is part of a series of Mindscape activities which connects people to nature through art. They're designed for people with dementia along with their family and or carers but they're also suitable for other groups such as families with children. Mindscape is a Y Valley area of outstanding natural beauty and art space syndicate project. It's part of the Foresters Forest, the National Lottery Heritage Fund and the Landscape Partnership Programme. And each of these YouTube videos is accompanied with a step-by-step -step activity guide that you can download from the Artspace Sinford website. Hi and welcome to the Mindscape activities. For this session we're going to have fun exploring a multi-sensory activity which I'm going to refer to as Salto Pebbles. And similarly to clay we're going to take natural objects and impress them into the surface of the pebble to create an interesting pattern or texture. But on top of that, this is what makes it the multi-sensory experience, we're going to add in different colours and different scents. I've got a variety of ingredients here, all fairly accessible from a supermarket, such as herb and spice powders, some citrus fruit, and also some colourings and some flavourings. The idea is that we mix them all together to create this pliable dough and using our natural objects create something such as this. Now this particular example is the salt dough with a mixture of paprika in there, so a very distinct smell, but also the imprint in the center is, if you can see it, a star anise, which also has a very intense smell. The natural objects and all the ingredients that I've got here are just examples only, so feel free to mix and match different variations yourself. Um, as far as my natural objects are concerned, I've got things that I've been collecting over the years and found in the forest as well. Things like pine cones, uh, little bits of um, acorn, I've got bits of bark, sycamore seeds, etc, etc. Um, an interesting stone that I've found. But I've also got another sort of smelly herb out the garden, some rosemary. Ah, and then you can see them here, uh, some more smelly cloves, which would make a really nice impression as well. The ingredients include herbs and spices. I've got turmeric, paprika, nutmeg, and crushed ground clove. Also a little bit of dill. Here's some ginger and some citrus fruits. And they all give us some really interesting colors and scents. In fact, the herbs and spices give you both a color and a scent. It might be that you use a bit of food coloring um, as well as some flavoring. I've got some peppermint oil here and I might mix a little bit of that with either the blue or green to include into my salt dough. Some of these ingredients I've used in these examples that I made earlier. Um, here is the paprika which still has that distinct smell to it. This sort of greenish colour has the lemon, sorry, the lime rind grated into it as well as a little bit of the green food colouring. That's the crushed cloves, the ground cloves. And this really vibrant pink one is some beetroot juice. That's the turmeric and um, that's a little bit of the uh, blue food colouring. Again, with a bit of peppermint oil. The white one is just plain. so. That's what you'll, you'll start with before you add in the different ingredients. In the glasses here, I've got a few pre-mixed ingredients. Things such as the beetroot juice, the turmeric and the crushed ground cloves. I've just had a little teaspoonful of each with a little bit of water into these. For this particular session, I'll make a couple more ingredients to add into our salt dough using the uh, citrus fruit and the food colourings. 
it's probably worth bearing in mind that uh, this can get a little bit messy so you may wish to use aprons and cover the tables and possibly some people would prefer to use gloves um, but basically it can be a bit messy like any good art session okay well i've just cleared the table slightly we'll start making the salt dough let's talk about the ingredient ratios first um, i've got a cup here one full cup of flour i'm going to use gluten-free flour just to make it accessible for everybody and um, half a cup of salt and we'll also be adding in half a cup of water. I'm going to use this little mixing bowl. I've got a fork, as we're not cooking, you can use anything really to mix it up with. And this little grater that I use on the line. So take your flour, pop it in the bowl, and mix in the salt a little bit. And this is where things tend to look quite messy. I'll add in the water. Now, if we speed up the demonstration, you'll be able to see the nice, clean, final outcome. But give it a good mix. This may take a few minutes, so let's speed it up. So, I've finished mixing the salt dough. Um, I've split it in half, by the way. The ratio of ingredients that we used earlier, it's probably enough to make two of these. So, I'm again going to split that in half and we'll add different ingredients into each bowl of salt dough. So the first one I'll do is the lime and I've already just grated some of the rind into the cup. Okay, And I'm putting a little bit of the green food colouring and I think what I'll also do is just add in a little bit of the lime juice as well. And then it's simply a case of mixing it into the dough. And depending on the sort of intensity you're after, you can add in as little or as much of the, the colouring and ingredients as you want. Okay, now I've always got a rag handy just to keep my hands clean for something like this. So it may be an idea to do the same, possibly a bowl of warm water or something. Now, the spices work in just the same way. It would simply be a case of, again, putting a little bit into the glass with a spot of water and mixing it similarly to how we're going to do the lime. Okay, so I could probably get a couple of pebbles out of this. The next stage is the impressing of the natural objects and you might want to spend a bit of time 
just experimenting and seeing what objects make an interesting mark. Um, we could try something like these cloves, which as a repeat pattern are quite interesting. Plus of course they've got that lovely smell. Maybe I could roll something like this old pine cone over it. That's quite nice. Or maybe something like the acorn. Um, so have a little play, have a little test as to what you think works well. Um, for this final impression I'm going to use this lovely bit of rock that I found because I notice it works really nicely. Now if you put these somewhere safe to dry they should take two or three days and um, if you like you could cover them with PVA just to protect them a little bit more. They are fairly durable but um, adding a bit of PVA just might help. So have fun exploring different ingredients to get different colours and different scents as well as the, the tactile part of it, playing around with all the, the different natural objects as well and you'll end up with your own lovely variety of salt petals. Hope you enjoy it.